So the state of California has introduced a new gun control bill, which will require parents of school children to disclose to these schools in law enforcement whether they have firearms, and this will also result into their children potentially being searched. So let's talk about this. But real quick before I jump into this video, if you think the state of California needs to stop violating our rights to keep and bear arms, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. Also want to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Sonorian Desert Institute. SDI is an accredited online college that helps students learn the skills and techniques they need to be successful in the firearms industry. SDI's faculty is comprised of professionals with decades of industry experience, and the SDI programs are designed to combine modern learning methods, hands-on training options, and the flexibility of online education. Through SDI, you can get an Associates of Science in Firearms Technology degree and a Certificate in Firearms Technology. If you enjoy gun repair, ballistics, and learning about firearms, Sonoran Desert Institute might be a good option for you. To find out more about SDI, you can visit www.sdi.edu or call the number here on the screen. Thank you again, SDI, for sponsoring this video. So like I said in the intro, a new bill has been introduced in California, which will require parents to disclose their firearms ownership to their children's schools. This bill is SB 906 and has a working title of School Safety, Mass Casualty Threats, and Firearms Disclosure. So let's take a look at the text of this bill and talk about what it aims to do. So this bill states that it would require, on or before January 1st of 2023, the State Department of Education, in consultation with the Department of Justice, to develop model content for use by local educational agencies related to a threat or perceived threat of an incident of mass casualties at a school. Using the model content, the bill would require local educational agencies to require the parents or guardians of a pupil to disclose whether any firearms are located at the home of the pupil and to answer questions about the ownership, storage, and accessibility by the pupil of the firearms. This bill would require local educational agencies to include information related to the safe storage of firearms in the annual notification provided to the parents or guardians of the pupil if a school official is alerted to or observes any threat or perceived threat of an incident of mass casualties at a school, the bill would require a report of the threat or perceived threat to be immediately made to law enforcement and the Department of Justice. This bill would require a school or local educational agency in consultation with the law enforcement to conduct immediately an investigation and threat assessment as specified. The bill would require the investigation and threat assessment to include a review of the parent or guardian's firearms disclosure information and a search of the pupil and the pupil's property located at the school site if there is reasonable suspicion that a search will result in the discovery of a firearm or other evidence that the pupil has or is violating the law or the school's safety rules or policies. Now, as you just heard in the summary of this bill, this bill attempts to intrude on the private lives and information of law-abiding gun owners in California by forcing them to disclose what is otherwise private information just so that their kids can actually go to school. One of the most protected areas under the Constitution is your own home and your right to privacy within your home. This bill seeks to reach within that privacy through a back door. The state is using overblown media hype and concerns to find out who actually has firearms and how they're actually being stored within your home. One thing to remember is that the state of California already has a penal code that would penalize parents if a child actually gains access to a firearm and causes some sort of injury to themselves or others. That law was put into place by the state to allegedly prevent these types of harms that are also a concern in this bill. So why is it that the state is now trying to double up on the same issue? Well, the penal code that currently exists does not disclose who has firearms, um, how they're being stored within your home. It doesn't actually reach that far. It just is kind of an after the fact, um, kind of misdemeanor, felony kind of wobbler, I believe. If your child actually gains access to your firearm and then something happens, they can do something after the fact. But this bill actually seeks to reach into your privacy earlier and actually find out what firearms you have and actually how you are storing them. And they're doing this because you are sending your kids to school. Now let's take a look at some of the definitions that are relevant to the implementation of this new bill. First, it defines reasonable suspicion to mean articulable facts together with rational inferences from those facts warranting an objective suspicion. It's important for me to actually note that reasonable suspicion is a step before probable cause. At the point of reasonable suspicion, 
It only has to appear that a crime may have been committed. The situation escalates to probable cause when it becomes obvious that a crime has most likely been committed. So essentially reasonable suspicion is an easier standard for the school and law enforcement to meet. And that's why they're actually going with that. They're not saying we need probable cause. They're saying, well, we need this lower bar of reasonable suspicion. In this bill, they also go on to define what a threat or perceived threat actually means. It states one, any writing or other content of a pupil that based on reasonable suspicion is homicidal in nature. The content may include depictions of firearms, ammunition, shootings, or targets in association with infliction of physical harm, destruction, or death. The content may be from a social media post, journal, class note, or other media associated with the pupil. It goes on to say two, any pupil behavior that leads to any reasonable suspicion that the pupil has homicidal thoughts or urges, including disobedience of school rules or policies related to school safety or firearms, such as a ban on backpacks in classrooms, unlawful possession or use of a firearm enumerated in various California laws. And then it says number three, any warning by a parent, pupil, or other individual that leads to a reasonable suspicion that the pupil is preparing to commit a homicidal act. So essentially any drawing, social media post, note, really anything displaying a firearm or hinting at a firearm or the use of them could serve as a threat or perceived threat and give the school reasonable suspicion to search your child. And right now in this world with kids playing things like Modern Warfare, Warzone, Fortnite, Tarkov, really any first person shooter, and they're posting about it, they're streaming, they're drawing, talking about it with their friends, talking about firearms more than probably kids ever did um, because they just have more access through video games and you know social media. Really, it takes very little for your child to be flagged in some way by the school or someone else and then for them to be searched. So how is it that the state of California is going to go about implementing this new bill? Well, they will require starting in 2023, that school year, that all parents disclose on a form used to enroll or register the students with the school, whether they have any firearms within the home, what firearms they have potentially, the ownership of them, the storage of them, and the accessibility of the firearms. So the school, law enforcement, and state will be gathering information that otherwise is protected under privacy rights, and they will gather all this information just for you to actually enroll your kids in schools. And once you fill out this form, essentially it will flag you and your child so that if there's ever any reasonable suspicion that pops up, then the school and the police officers can then search your child, their person, their clothing, their desk, the backpack, locker, electronic devices under also this bill and any vehicle that is actually driven by the student to the school. So it's kind of giving them this broad search discretion just because you fill out this form. And if they are ever flagged for saying something, drawing something, whatever, all of a sudden, law enforcement, the school people can then search your kid and search all these areas that's talked about in this bill. Now, this will undoubtedly be challenged in courts as a violation of privacy rights and Second Amendment rights if it's ever passed. Right now, this bill is currently making its way through the state legislature, so we still have some time to stop this. So if you're a gun owner in California, even if you don't have kids, but even more so if you do have children, this is going to directly impact you. And I highly recommend you reach out to your local representatives and let them know that you do not agree with this bill and that they should oppose it. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment down below and I'll try to answer the best of my ability. Also, if you like this video and like support the channel, one of the best ways to do that is to like, comment, and subscribe. All those things help to fuel the algorithm or fuel Al Gore's rhythm. It adds fuel to his jet and it signals to YouTube that you guys see value in these videos in this type of two-way news. Again, I cannot thank you guys enough for everybody who likes, comments, subscribes, who hits the notification bell, who shares these videos. You guys are directly impacting these videos, impacting this channel, helping me to reach more people than I could have ever thought, helping me to spread a second amendment information like this that actually needs to get out there, that is often kind of hidden by the mainstream media. You guys are actually helping me spread that word. So thank you guys so much for all of your support. So as always, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And never forget, this nation is built by armed scholars. This nation will maintain armed scholars.